Uh, well, actually, uh, this is a good momentum for people with disability in ASEAN because the fact that all ASEAN countries already ratified the UN Convention on the Right of a Person with Disability, all 10 countries already ratified. Now we are advocating for the implementation of the UN Convention itself in the regional level as well as in the country level. So that's why with having the master plan, it means that we try to reinforce the implementation of the UN CRPD in, a, in the regional level. So for the ASEAN, ASEAN countries will make sure that uh, ASEAN community will be more inclusive until 2025. ASEAN Master Plan has three action points for, for the three pillars of ASEAN and one of the pillars is political security pillar. So in, one, in the political security pillar, it, it has several action points related to, to, to political participation of persons with disability. So if um, the ASEAN countries are committed to implement the Master Plan, it, it means that we will we'll see several uh, program activities related to enhancement of the political participation of person with disability and with that person with disability can raise their voice person with disability can be uh, part of the political uh, activity like they can be elected as a leader they can be elected as a election uh, officer for example to ensure and also they can be a, ca a candidate for a parliament so their their, their voice can be raised up